Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to make a short tutorial on how you can may do striped backgrounds in CSS. Uh, yeah, you know, like stripes directly in CSS. It's pretty simple. Uh, you you do a background. Uh, we are going to use a repeating linear gradient, which is an image technically. I know it's a little bit weird, but it's technically an image in uh, CSS, so you need to do background image or just background and it's repeating linear gradient. If you use any kind of software that helps you out, it's going to pretty much do that for you. Then we need to figure out at, uh, how we want the stripes to look. I'm going to put them at a 45 degree ang angle because I think that looks pretty good. You could of course do anything between zero and uh, 365 or you could go negative. Uh, it might be easier to do minus 45 or 90 than plus 270. Um, then we need to do the first color. This is going to be the, the background color of the thing. Uh, I'm just going to do white here. Uh, the first and the second color basically needs to be the same. If you want to do, if you want to get the two color types, that is. So they are both going to be white. The first one, uh, it, technically, it's going to be zero pixels, so you can just put nothing after that. Looks a little bit better. And this one uh, is going to be however wide you want your stripes to be. I'm going to do 10 pixels for this demonstration. After that, you need to put the second color. So the first here, I'm going to do uh, uh, E, 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 D, E, D. Uh, as you can see, this screen just changed over here from uh, white to this color. If we do this, you can see it change. It's not a big change, but for stripes like this, you really don't want uh, too much of contrast between the colors. It's going, it's going to look really bad. I tried to do this with blue and red uh, and it looked pretty shit, to be honest. Uh, it was impossible to just look at it for a longer period of time, that's how bad it looked. Uh, and this is going to be zero pixels. This uh, first color uh, is uh, the gradient. So if you want a smooth transition between the colors, this and uh, this needs to also have pixels. But I want straight lines in my stripes, so they're going to both be zero. So technically, this could also be just nothing. Then I'm going to do E, D, E, D, for with an E. And this then is going to be the second stripe. So how this works is that they both start from one point on the screen, say that they both start here. And then they go, the first one goes 10 pixels. And if you then put this one as well to 10 pixels, which might be what you think you should do, then they are both going to end at the same spot. So you need to make this second one uh, twice the length if you want them to be uh, the same size. And there you go. This is, uh, as you can see, oh, actually this has to be zero pixels. My, bro my bad. This has to be zero pixels, otherwise you get, uh, you get the gradient where it smoothly transitions on one of the sides. So this has to be zero pixels. And there you go. There you have the stripes. Then you can, of course, so here, twice here if you didn't get it the first time. They both start here at the edge of my mouse. Well, they're technically at the edge of my mouse. And then uh, they both go up the amount of pixels said. So the first one goes up 10 and the other one goes from there up to 20 pixels. And then they restart because it's a repeating linear gradient. If we didn't have repeating and we just did a linear gradient, then like at the bottom, <laughs> there will be one of these. So this is a repeating linear gradient. And of course, uh, so. So there you go. This is easy code. Uh, I'm going to put this in the description of the video as well in uh, JS Fiddle. So and you, so you can just copy it from there if you don't want to write it. But I do recommend writing it so you know how to do it. It's uh, it's very easy to make pretty good looking backgrounds with it with this. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.